Shazam! Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to Undrilled and Hero for another movie reaction for you today. Here we have Fargo by the Coen Brothers back in the 90s. I've seen this once before, like back in high school. Well, Tyrell has not seen this movie at all. Nope, I've not seen this movie. Mm hmm. Always heard about it. I know Francis McDormand's in it. I know the Coen Brothers are involved. Yep. They made other films. I seen. I saw within recent years. Oh, and you're so Social Oh, well, I want to hang on to that bar. It's nothing but old man. <laughs> like, honestly, there's like, no hot babes in there. A whole bunch of truckers. Yeah, these are for old men who want to get away from their wives. Most unattractive bar ever. These are they, they the hippest guys in here. Yeah. I will say this, though. What Shep told us didn't make a whole lot of sense. Oh, no. It's real sound. It's all worked out. You want your own wife kidnapped. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> My point is, you pay the ransom what? Eighty thousand bucks? I mean, you give us half the ransom, forty thousand. You keep half. It's like robbing Peter to pay Paul. It doesn't make any sense. Oh, see, I just need the money. Now her dad, he's real well off. So why don't you just ask him for the money? Your wife, you know. Or your fucking wife, Jerry. Well, it's all part of this. Now it makes sense why he's acting, why he's acting so spooky and scary. Mm-hmm. They don't know I need it, see? Okay, so there's that. And even if they did, I wouldn't get it. So there's that on top then. See, these are personal matters. Personal matters? Yeah, personal matters that needn't... Uh, okay, or Jerry, Personal matters? You're tasking us to perform this mission, but you won't... Uh, you won't... Oh, fuck it. Let's take a look at that Sierra. I sat right here and said I didn't want any true coat. Yeah, but I'm saying that true coat, you don't get it. You get oxidation problems. It'll cost you a heck of a lot more than $500. You're sitting there. You're, you're talking in circles. You're talking like we didn't go over this already. Yeah, but this true coat. We had a deal here for nineteen five. You sat there and darned if you didn't tell me you'd get me this car, these options, without the sealant for nineteen five. All right. I'm not saying I didn't. You called me 20 minutes ago and said you had it ready to make delivery. It says, come on down and get it. And, 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 and here you are, and you're wasting my time and my wife's time and... And I'm paying 19.5 for this vehicle here. All right. This guy's a real son of a son of a son of a. You going to the Gophers on oh, Sunday? Car salesman oh, usually are. You wouldn't have an extra ticket. You kidding? Well, he never done this before, but seeing as it's special circumstances and all, he says I can knock a hundred dollars off that true coat. One hundred. You lied to me, Mr. Lundgaard. You're a bald-faced liar. <laughs> a fucking liar. Okay, please. Where's my goddamn checkbook? Let's get this over with. Where is it? <laughs> He's a real scumbag. <laughs> I hate those guys the most. Like they come all across, they look nice in your face, but they're really pieces of shit. Yeah, they're just trying to try trying to get away with charge you the most amount of money possible. No, no, this, this guy, this is a person in general. Like this is the second horrible thing he's done. Yeah, like, it's such a short amount of time too. Such a short amount of time, and he comes like he, like he doesn't look like a bad guy. You know what I mean? No. Like, he, but he look, but he he's like a dweeb and he acts like a dweeb, mm -hmm. but he really is a piece of shit in the skies. You know what I mean? Yeah. And those are the worst because you don't see them coming. I just need on these last, uh, these financing documents that you sent us, I can't read the serial numbers of the vehicles. Yeah, but I, I already got the, it's okay, the loans are in place. I already got the, the, what, the... Yeah, the uh, 320000 you got the money last month. Yeah, so we're all set then. Yeah, but the vehicles that you're borrowing on, I, I just can't read the serial numbers on your application. Maybe if you could just uh, read them. Yeah, but the here. deal's already done. I already got the money. Yes, but we have an audit here. I just have to know that these vehicles you're financing with this money, that they really exist. Yeah, <laughs> they exist, all right. <laughs> no, no, I'm sure they do. But I, I can't read the serial numbers here, so if you could read me some... Yeah, but, uh, <laughs> see, um, 
I don't have them in front of me. Why don't I just fax you over a copy? No, no, well, no fax is no good. That's what I have, and I, I can't read the darn yeah. thing. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll have my girl send you a copy then. Okay, because if I can't correlate this note with the specific vehicles, then I gotta call back that money. Yeah, how much money was that? Yeah, he just said it. This guy's a... Yeah, okay, no problem. I'll just fax that right over. He's a fucking jerk off. He's trying to get fraud here. Yes, he's a fucking scam artist. He's a piece of duty. And that's the truth. Okay, now, for those of you who just joined us, Katie here this morning is going to show us how to make holodazzle eggs ourselves at home. Now, Katie, I got to admit, I was a little bit surprised... When I first picked this up, right. this is an egg. Yeah, it's casual. He walks up. Yeah. <laughs> yep, right. very casual. Well, how do you get the egg? There was an egg. Hey, we're going to rob you. Okay, well, I don't know. How do you. I mean, Who you does that? Who cases? <laughs> this is broad daylight. She's in the living room. You couldn't see that. She's a, no stealth, no kind of spying. You just walk right up in a fucking mass on a crowbar. You don't even do it at night. You're doing this in the middle of the day. <laughs> the middle of the fucking day where anyone can fucking see you with the fucking ski mask on. No, no, I guarantee this was Don't you see her right there, right dummy? Unguent. <laughs> what? I need unguent. <laughs> I can't believe this is actually reality. This is yes. crazy. This is fucking stupid. This is the most comical way to get fucking get kidnapped. Yeah, man, I'll stop it. I'll make a jump for it. Fuck it. Do it. Jump out. Yeah, put your fingerprints all up in the crib. <laughs> all the fingerprints. Yup. Mm -hmm. Touch it all up. Did you really have to fucking ramp sack or shit? You could just like any mini mini mo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's smart. <laughs> not, too smart. <laughs> not too smart. <laughs> well, she did it to herself. <laughs> that lady's not bright. She did a bright move and she fucking just fucking tumbled. Huh? The financials are pretty thorough, so the only thing we don't know is your fee. My fee? Wait, what the heck are you talking about? Stan and I are okay. Yeah? We're good to load in. Yeah? But we never talked about your fee for bringing it to us. No, but wait, oh. see, I was bringing you this deal for you to loan me the money to put in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead! <laughs> good for you, you piece of shit. Yep. <laughs> He screwed you. <laughs> <laughs> he thought he was about to have his own hustle. <laughs> it's my deal here, see? Yeah. Jerry, we thought you were bringing us an investment. Yeah, right. You're no, he was clear about it. There was some bullshit. He was clear about that he was going to do it. <laughs> He's on some bullshit. And I'm cool with it, because fuck him. Yeah, fuck him. And... What are you saying? You're saying we put in all the money and you collect when it pays off. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's how investors work. When you invest some, you put in all the money and you collect all the profits, but he's working for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what they do, they say, no, I'm an investor, but I'm going to take your business yeah. completely and you're going to get a fee for it and that's it. Yep. Maybe we should have had some paperwork drop before you just got the money. Oh, you definitely you should have. I mean? You definitely should have You're, you're not even a smart crook. No, he's really not. He overlooks some pretty serious shit. Yeah. And also, if you're a crook, you should get a crook lawyer so you could, you know, have right. them That's do shit do. like that. <laughs> no, no. I'd, 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 I'd pay you back the principal and interest. Heck, I'd, I'd go one over prime. We're not a bank, Jerry. If I wanted bank interest on 750000 I'd go to Midwest Federal, talk to old Bill Deal. 
He's at North Star. He's at... No, no. See, I... <laughs> I don't need a, a finder's fee. I need... Finder's fees, what, 10%? Heck, that's not going to do it for me. I need the principal. Well, Jerry, we're not going to just give you $750,000. Well, look, I don't want to cut you out of the loop, but this here's a good deal. I assume if you're not interested, you won't mind if we move on it. Independently. <laughs> If you're going to do that, then just do it. <laughs> so basically, basically what he's saying is that, you know what I mean? Like, we're going to do get this with or without you. So you can take, yeah. you can take a little money for it, or we just go around you completely. Yeah, because they could have done you even dirtier and yeah. just, like, left it's you to dry. All right, just, just keep it still back there, lady, or else we're going to have to, you know, to shoot you. Yeah, he's so, so threatening. <laughs> hey, I'll take care of this. I was just thinking we could take care of it right here, in Brainerd. Put that back in your pocket, please. <laughs> hey, you taking your money? Step out of the car, please, sir. <laughs> Come on! Damn! Who was it? Ears are probably blown out. Yeah. <laughs> Shut the fuck up! Oh, daddy. Yep, some dude got his head blown off right in front of you. Yeah. Right in, on you. Yeah. He right blew in, right his, in your face. He blew a cop's head right in front of you. Yeah, right like on, his right head was like right in front of right, your face. Right on you. He was on him because he hovered over. Mm-hmm. That's pretty dramatic. Yeah. That'd be traumatized for life. God. Is gonna add another body? Well, uh, it's gonna keep doing it. Yeah, I mean he is lugging an entire body. Oh, he's gonna chase them down. <laughs> he's gonna chase them down. <laughs> Can I also lie? I see his face. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like what? <laughs> It seems like it's a specific story, so I, I, don't, I don't understand where, like, the whole, like, TV show... Yeah, I don't really get where the TV show comes from either, to be honest. I think I haven't seen it, so... True. Yeah, that's not going to say too much about it. <laughs> How good of a shot are you? Well, let's see. Because he's on... Right in his back. Bullseye. But that, 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 that may not be enough to kill him. You gotta probably shoot him in his head. It's such a realistic car sound. <laughs> oh, that's a lady. Is he that savage? Yes, yes. he is. <laughs> Hi, it's Marge. Oh, oh my, where? Yeah? Oh, jeez. Okay, there, not Jeff. All right. Okay, then. Okay. You can sleep. It's early yet. I gotta go. Yeah. I'll fix you some eggs. That's okay, hon. I gotta run. You gotta eat a breakfast, Marge. Oh. I'll fix you some eggs. Oh, hon, you can sleep. You gotta eat a breakfast. Oh, what I'll a sweet bag. Mm -hmm. I'll make you some eggs, honey. He gives her cuddles in the bed. You no, know, but you gotta get your sleep. It's early. Yeah. Oh. Thanks, hon. 
Time to shove off. Oh, she's pregnant. Love you, Margie. Love you, hon. Aw. What a cute, what a cute couple. Mm-hmm. That's the husband that loves his wife. He's he's tired of shit. He's like, no, you're going out. You need to eat. eat. Mm-hmm. Wow, so white. I like it, though. Mm-hmm. Very foggy. Like a snowstorm. Yeah. This is capturing the perfect town that I do not want to live in. <laughs> yeah. Look how white the fucking view was. Oh, my God. It's like you're in a I void. Know. Yeah. Francis with Dorman has entered the, she's entered the hyperbolic there? time traper. Yeah. Thought you might need a little warm up. Watch your step, Margie. Margie. Yeah, the movie's fucking good. Yeah. I see, I see a lot of people like it. Oh, jeez. So. Oh, jeez. Here's the second one. It's in the head and the hand there. I guess that's a defensive wound. Oh, yeah? Where's the state trooper? Back there, a good piece in the ditch next to his prowler. OK. So we got a trooper pull someone over. We got a shooting. These folks drive by. There's a high-speed pursuit. Ends here, and then this execution type deal. Yeah. I'd be very surprised if our suspect was from Brainerd. Yeah. Yeah. And I tell you what, <laughs> from his footprint, he looks like a big fella. You see something down there, Chief? Why are you not a detective? Oh, he's no, a chief. Never mind. I he's just a chief. think I'm gonna barf. She's a boss. Mm hmm. You okay, Margie? Yeah, I'm fine. It's just morning sickness. She's adorable. Oops. Please. Hiya, hon. I brought you some lunch, Margie. What are those, night crawlers? Yeah. Oh, that's a crazy, crazy oh, stupid love. Mm -hmm. That's the husband. Oh, shit. Thanks for yeah. lunch. Oh, yeah, looks pretty Wait, good. Did you know that? What do we got here? Yeah, Arby's? I recognize them. Uh -huh. How's the paint going? Pretty good. Found out the Hauptmans are entering a painting this year. Oh, hon, you're better than them. They're real good. They're good, Norm, but you're better than them. You think so? You got Arby's all over me. <laughs> hey, yeah, Norm. How's the painting going? Not too bad, you know. How we doing on that vehicle? Well, no motels registered any 10 Sierra last I love them, Mary. They're such a cute couple. I know, Two right? Two men checked into the Blue Ox, registering a Sierra and leaving a tag space blank. So I, I just hope nothing bad Jeez, happens to anyone. Yeah. Blue Ox, that's that trucker's joint out there on I-35. Yeah. Owner was on the desk then. Said these two had company. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Jerry Lundegaard. All right, Jerry, you got the phone to yourself? Well, yeah. You know who this is? Well, yeah, I got an idea. How's that Sierra working out for you? Circumstances have changed, Jerry. Well, what do you mean? Things have changed. Circumstances, Jerry, beyond the, uh... Acts of God, force majeure. What the? How's Jean? Who's Jean? My wife. Oh. What the? She, 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 she's all right, but there's three people up in Brainerd who aren't so okay, I tell you that. What the heck are you talking about? Let's just finish <laughs> this deal up here. Blood has been shed, Jerry. You don't need to tell him that. What the heck do you mean? Three people in Brainerd. 
Oh, Why are you trying to extort him for more money? Cause what's the point of telling him that? Jeez. That's right, we need more money. That's like the less, you know what well, I mean? That's what he just said. Yeah. That's right, we need more money. The last thing he said yeah, was Yeah, that's good. I'm not just hurting it. I'm like, other than that, like, there's no point in letting more people know about that. Mm -hmm. What the heck are you talking about? What do you fellas got yourself mixed up in? We need more money. This was money. supposed to be a no rough stuff type deal. Don't ever interrupt me, Jerry. Just shut the fuck up. Well, I'm sorry, but I, I just, I don't. I'm not going to debate you, Jerry. I'm not going to debate. We now want the entire 80,000. Oh, for Christ's sake, here. Blood has been shed. We've incurred risk, Jerry. I'm coming to the town tomorrow. You have the money ready. Now, we had a deal here. A deal's a deal. Is it, Jerry? You asked those... You have no power <laughs> to do anything. You're making deals with people that have more power than you. Mm-hmm. And God, if they hear the... Oh, God. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sold up in brain if it deals a deal. And there's another thing, another situation where either you get the fist up the ass or the boot up the ass. Because either they kill her and take your money, or you get or you get her back and you give her the money. Yep. Even then, you're expecting to get a million from uh from her dad, so Exactly, so don't bitch about 80 grand, stupid. Y'all love know you can eat. <laughs> yeah, she's eating pregnant, right? She's always eating in every fucking clip. Yep. Francis is just hungry. <laughs> this isn't even part of the script. She was just hungry. Honestly. Uh, me praying doesn't do that to you. It makes you really hungry. Oh, I remember when, when my mom was pregnant with, with my little brother. She used to have like weird cravings. Mm -hmm. Like eating sandwiches that shouldn't have pickles in it with pickles on it. Mm. Damn it, I want to be a part of this thing. No, Wade, they were real clear. They said they called Mara with instructions <laughs> and it's gotta be delivered by me alone. Fucked. It's my the money, what? I'll deliver Million? it. What do they care? Wade's got a point hey, there. He's I'll handle the call if you want, Jerry. No, no, see, that, they, why no, else see, would you they fake the numbers? With me. Yeah. You, you feel this, this nervousness on the floor? How you doing? Yeah, I decided not to park here. Well, what do you mean? You decided not to park here? Yeah, I just came in. I decided not to park here, so... But, well, I, I'm sorry, sir. Yeah, I decided not to, uh, I, uh, you know, I'm not, uh, I decided not to take the trip, as it turns out, so. Well, I'm sorry, sir. We still got to charge you the $4. <laughs> For real? I just real? pulled in here. I just fucking pulled in here. Well, but, see, there's, there's a minimum charge of $4. Uh, Long-term parking charges by the day. <laughs> I guess you think you're, uh, you know, like an authority figure? That stupid fucking uniform, huh, buddy? It's not like that. It's, it's the rules, nigga. <laughs> He's the opposite of an authority figure. Yeah. He's just enforcing the rules that he did not create. Flip on tie there, big fucking man, huh? You know, these are the limits of your life, man. The rule of your little fucking gate here, here. There's your four dollars, you pathetic piece of shit. <laughs> He's the, he act like he's giving it to We're him shot. for the company. Go to a cop. If you get mad, get mad at somebody, get mad at the company. Uh, all right, Jerry, I'm through fucking around. You got the fucking money? Yeah, I got the money, but, uh... Would you fucking fuck me, Jerry? I want you to put this money in the Dayton Radisson parking man. Pop level. <laughs> he's, listening, he's listening to in the background. Okay, but, uh, oh, uh, hey, go there in 30 minutes or I find you, Jerry, and I shoot you, and I shoot your fucking wife, and I shoot all your little fucking children, and I shoot them all in the back of their little fucking heads. You got it? Okay, now you stay away from Scotty now. Got it? Okay, real good then. He's, he's gonna do it himself. He's so fucked! He's, he's so fucked! <laughs> yeah, he gave you no fucking million dollars. No, <laughs> he has plans! <laughs> he's fuck out of here. <laughs> Who the fuck are you? I got your damn money. Now where's Please my daughter? Find out. Please find out as to how much money's in there. Please. I am through fucking around. Drop that fucking briefcase. Where's my daughter? Where's the, where's the blonde? Fuck you, man. Yeah, where is Rhea Somera? I gave simple fucking instructions. Uh, where's my damn daughter? No Jean, no money. Drop that fucking money. No Jean, no money. Is Jean even there? Is this a fucking joke here? <laughs> Oh, 
Okay. Happy now, asshole? What's with you people? You fucking imbeciles! <laughs> well, they're both dead. <laughs> I think, no, I think the bullet glazed his chin. Oh, because I just sliced his fucking face. He's emptying the clip on him. Well, he's dead now. He's emptying the clip on him. Yeah, no one's having that. Yep, it's a lot of money. So he took out the money that he needed. <laughs> what was he, what he gonna do with that? I thought, I assume he's gonna steal the whole shit. He doesn't know his name and the face, though, so he could out him to the cops. Yeah. So it's probably better to give him the money. Even hey, then, there's still uh, Peter Starmare who doesn't know about the money yet. True. Because that's my, I'm thinking about what if, what, what he's thinking. But he didn't cut 80 grand, so, you know, he's gonna get his cut, but, like, you know, he may have different ideas. Because <laughs> he's a lot more of a criminal. Mm-hmm. He's burying the money? Yep. He's giving enough for... Yeah. <laughs> Why does it take that shit and run? Fuck it. Well, I mean, I wouldn't want Pierre Stormer after me, but if you knew, I tried to screw him over. To be honest, I would at the very least try to get all that settled with him. So is he? Oh, so he's going to so bury it and tell him where to get it? No, I mean, I'm assuming he's not going to tell Pierre Stormer about the money at all. <laughs> Told you, we haven't had any vehicles go missing. Okay, are you sure? Because <laughs> I mean, how do you know? Because he, the crime I'm investigating, the perpetrators were driving a car with dealer plates, and they called someone who works here, so it'd be quite a coincidence if they weren't, you know, connected. <laughs> yeah, I see. So, how do you... Have you done any kind of inventory recently? The car's not from our lot, ma'am. But how do you know that for sure without doing a... Well, I would know. I'm the executive sales manager. Yeah, but I understand. We run a pretty tight ship here. I know, but, well, how do they establish that, sir? I mean, are the cars counted daily, or... Sir, you have no call to get snippy with me. I'm just doing my job here. I'm... I'm not, uh... I, I'm not arguing here. I'm cooperating. <laughs> you're and so good. We're you're doing not, all we you're can. not cooperating. You're being difficult. Mm-hmm. You look more and more suspicious every time. Sir... Can I talk to Mr. Gustafson? Nope. Mr. Lundegaard. <laughs> well, heck, if you wanna, if you wanna play games here, I'm working with you on this thing here, but okay, I'll do a damn luck count. Sir, right now? Yeah, right now. You're darn tootin'. So damn important to you. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. Ah, what the Christ. This <laughs> <laughs> look more and more suspicious. It's so obvious. He's supposed to be an evil, he's, he's such a douchebag fucker criminal, but he's so bad at being that. Oh, he is the worst at being that. He is so incompetent. He's a competent bad guy. Yeah, she's about to figure some shit out. Because the food has fueled her brain. So she could do cross references. She's fueled by the power of Hardee's. This is so real. This is exactly what I'd be doing next to He's looking around the room, bored out of my mind. And he's driving <laughs> off! <laughs> well, you have all the suspicion now. He's Not suspicious as fuck now. now. But something's come up. That TV what? is so perfectly clear, well, obviously. It's something kind of small, but it might be a big problem. 
I'm pregnant. Huh? I'm pregnant. I've had a doctor's test. I've got the certificates, and there's no doubt about it. I'm going to have your baby. You see, so moved by what he's saying. Just didn't go to the doctor's. Nope. <laughs> you should see the other guy. He Fuck killed her. Of her. Uh, she started shrieking, you know. Jesus. Well, I got the money. All of it. All 80 grand. <laughs> yep. He That's started screwing him over. 44. Well, he paid the rest of the money. Mm hmm. Yeah. Tried to sit down. Oh! Give, give him, give him the money, and go back and get the rest. That's why yes. he put in that. That, yes. oh, that makes sense. Keep me figuring that out, because I don't want to be like your dumbass. That could be in the comments. No, if you keep watching it, I write to myself. <laughs> you could have my truck. I'm taking a Sierra. We split that. What? How the fuck do you split a fucking car, you dummy? With a fucking chainsaw? One of us pays the other for half. Hold on. No fucking way. <laughs> you fucking notice this? I got fucking shot! I got fucking shot in the face! I went and got the fucking money, I got shot fucking picking it up! I've been there for 36 fucking hours! Ooh! I'm taking that fucking car, that fuck is mine, you fucking asshole! You know, I've been listening to your fucking bullshit all week! Are we square? Are we square? You wanna take it there? Yeah, you fucking mute. And if you think you're fair and shit, proud for tell him I'm gonna nail his fucking ass. Yeah, I'll call you. Later. Yeah, he's gonna pop out and shoot him. The frame is perfect for it. Oh, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Who the hell's that? His wife. This guy says she that was, was him. Last that was him. <laughs> didn't look like him. Do not hurt Margie, I swear to God. I swear to God. <clears throat> first off, I'm not going into place unknown without backup. That's first off. Ooh. He's burying the bodies. No, he's shredding the body. So I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm about to say. Yeah, he's put doing the, the, the wood chipper. Yeah. Which makes sense to get rid of the bodies. Shoot him right now. Shoot him in the fucking head. No, there's always hearing you. You know he's hearing you. Excuse me, sir. Stop sh shredding those bodies. <laughs> yeah, you're fucked. You're fucked. <laughs> you're fucked. Shoot him. Okay, you got him in the leg. I assume he can come on armed because he'd probably try to shoot. Yeah, I'm assuming so too. I assume the wife is dead, right? That's... Yeah, I think so. It wasn't really there confirmed. Was... She was laying down, but I don't. But he there can't was say blood on like the refrigerator next to her. It was so, blood. Okay, yeah. I didn't notice the blood. I just saw her, like on the floor, incapacitated. Wait, is she, she kill him? Probably not. She's probably going to arrest him. Fuck him! Put a bolt to his head. See, that's what could be a cop. I'll take justice to my own hands. Mr. Anderson, is this your Burgundy 98 out here? Just a sec. <laughs> it's a fucking weasel. Yeah, yeah, just a sec. <laughs> he's gonna, yeah, he's gonna, yeah, he's gonna yeah. try to, he, he's gonna fucking try to sneak out. 
Yeah, he's, yeah. he snuck out. No, no, okay, he tried to eat. <laughs> yeah, you fuck! Yeah! Yeah! That's what you deserve, bitch! Yup, get you, you fuck. Dude, I'm does feel bad for the kid. Yeah, I do. He lost his mom and his dad's an idiot. Yep. Dad is an evil idiot. Right home to cuddle next to her hubby. They announced it. They announced it? Yeah. So? Three cents, Dan. You're Mallard? Yeah. And that's terrific. It's just a three cent. It's terrific. I'll be doing till you got the 29 cent. People don't much use the three cent. Oh, for peace, of course they do. Whenever they raise the postage, people need the little stamps. <laughs> yeah? When they're stuck with a bunch of the old ones. Yeah. I guess. It's terrific. I'm so proud of you, Norm. Aww. Heck, Norm, you know, we're doing pretty good. That was a good movie. Yeah, that was it. real good. I liked it. That's that's pretty awesome. Mm hmm. I mean, from the cinematography to where we like the coldness and it, you feel like you're just <laughs> in fucking every time you're in the middle of a road. It's one long ass road. So many scenes on that long ass road surrounded by just Nothing. white whiteness. Yeah. Just vast whiteness. Mm hmm. And fog and 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 the the dust and the like that comes from a snowstorm. It's just yeah. Yeah, you know I mean. No, white the white <laughs> residue it's just it's just there you know what I'm saying it's just something that just it's a simple mission that just goes awry so terribly <laughs> so it leads awful, to like. murders it just goes in a it's a plan that goes in like the worst direction yeah and I love Frances McDormand she killed it she, yeah she was I, great every one scene. of the cutest relationships I've ever seen on screen mm -hmm. when the world is because she's pure in the world of like yeah. so much sin she's and the, awfulness <laughs> she's the light in the darkness yeah Anyways, guys, that was uh, Fargo. Loved it. Yep, great movie. 94, Nixon 90. Mm -hmm. This movie is damn good, damn enjoyable. I have no idea how the show ties in. Sometimes reality is <laughs> changing the fiction. Yeah, I would love to see what the story... And it's even anthology, because it seems like it's different characters that comes in. Oh, really? So I have no idea what way they're going with this, if I'm being real. No, I don't either. But now watching this made me now curious to want to watch the fucking... Yeah, honestly, kind of the same. Show, honestly. Um, at least to know what more about it, you know. Yeah, yeah. I mean it's the Vex show, so it's probably not that bad. It's probably I mean, pretty shows, good. I mean, it shows are usually hits. Yeah, there's rarely any misses. And since it's been on for a while, I'm assuming it's good. You know. Yeah, I mean Vex is one of the best um, cable channels right now. This oh, easy. Content. I mean, see, they can't. They they would they would lose content like fucking the streaming service. Basically, yeah, and they've been doing it since even before yeah. streaming services are really doing that. Yeah, they're like the first iteration of what the content kind of content it, streaming services put out like really high quality. Mm hmm. Uh, TVMA and also um, great cinematography yeah. and short many length like 10 episodes like, like they never they would never produce like a 20 episode season nah you know? not really that's not really, that really their thing yeah they always operated that way mm -hmm. that they did you know what I mean and honestly they're one of the best channels period oh easy uh, easy easy but anyway anyways alright guys uh, we've talked long enough see the next video stay tuned for our other reactions we have mm -hmm. a bunch coming out for movies and shows and things to like Definitely and do. um of course hit that notification bell so you can see those things mm -hmm. as they you know as we notify you yeah like and yeah. subscribe and all that and we're gonna have a good year